For safety reasons, radiation machines need to be surrounded by thick concrete, so they're often housed in the basement of the hospital. When I was being treated, it was called the radiation vault, and it sounded a little spooky to me. But the radiation therapists I worked with were awesome, and once I went down to the basement and saw it for the first time, I realized it's not actually that bad. The radiation treatment room is a big open space with a table and a radiation machine in the middle. Some treatment rooms even have pictures on the roof for you to look at while you get your treatments. In this video, we'll hear how radiation treatments are given. Let's see how it all works. I remember the machine being intimidating. No matter how prepared I thought I was, uh, just feeling scared. 33 appointments, yeah. So um, it was every day except uh, my, or Saturday, Sunday, and holidays. On the first, uh, first day of treatment, uh, the patient will arrive. They will check in at the front desk. Uh, the front desk will notify the staff that the patient is here. The radiation therapist staff will go out and introduce themselves to that patient and bring the patient over to where the treatment unit is. So we, we bring the patient into the treatment room. We show them the linear accelerator, which is the machine that will be delivering the radiation to the patient. We set that patient up on the bed in the same position that they were set up for when they came for that CT simulation. Um, and then we raise the bed up underneath the machine and we will um, manipulate the patient's uh, body to, uh, in order to line them uh, up with the tattoos that they had previously in the CT simulation. So once we're happy with uh, the patient's positioning, we will let them know that we are leaving the room and uh, just to hold still. Now the radiation therapy staff, as much as they would like to be in the room with the patient during the treatment, we can't. So we have to stay outside. The machine rotates around them but they will not be touched by the machine. When the radiation starts, they cannot see it, smell it, taste it, nothing. They may hear a bit of a buzz in the background, and they also hear a little bit of a clunk, and that will acknowledge that the machine has started. When you're lying on the bed, the machine does move around you, uh, and so the radiation can be delivered from one position, or it may be delivered as the machine moves around you, or you may find that the machine moves to a different position, delivers some radiation, moves to another position, delivers some radiation, and like that. So it's different for different people. Despite you being left alone in the room, uh, you are being monitored from the outside. Uh, your therapist can hear you from the outside of the room and they can see you from the outside of the room. And they will give you instructions so that if you are uncomfortable or afraid, um, you can always signal them either by voice or uh, you know, as they indicate to you so that they can stop the treatment, come in, check what's bothering you. you know, they can make sure things are good. So once the treatment has completed, the radiation staff will come into the room, uh, bring the patient back down to the ground, uh, and, and uh, give them a little bit further education on how to uh, take care of themselves during the process of radiation. I know that patients often wonder why they receive different doses and fractionations. Different tumor cells uh, in different locations in the body respond differently to the, the radiation and as well your body responds differently to amounts of radiation and we basically we cater the amount of dose specifically to different sites in the body. And some, also some patients receive chemotherapy in conjunction with this, and some people have had surgery beforehand. So different amounts of radiation is very, is tailored very specifically to different types of cancer. In hindsight, it seems like it went faster than it did, probably. Uh, and then each one got just a little bit easier. The treatments themselves, the appointments themselves got easier. I knew what to expect. It was the same pretty much every day. I'm naturally, I want to be the driver, of minimum the navigator. But there was, there was times where it was, nice to be the passenger and just, you know, trust in them and be along for it. Even though you'll be the only person in the radiation room, you are never alone. The radiation therapists are just outside watching everything closely and are able to communicate with you at all times. The machine rotates around your body and delivers the radiation in a way that your tumor gets the highest dose and the surrounding organs and tissues get as little as possible. Remember, your radiation treatments are as unique as you are specialized to both the cancer type and the position of the tumor in your body. Even though everyone's experience is different, I hope that as you go through your radiation treatments, the whole process will become a little easier for you. So, that's it for this video. I'll see you soon.